Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name is Ross, and as always told, out of voice radio. So today, we're going to be taking a look at a lowland executor who's had a weirdly large number of cards, although there are some reprints and all and alternate arts thrown around in there. Anyway, the new Alolan Executor, revealed on the official YouTube channel, translated by the lovely David Hockman. Question is, what does it do? Well, if we start off having a look at the basics, we find 140 HP, which on the one hand is massive, and on the other hand is not as high as the Tropical Shake Alolan Executor. So, it sits in this weird middle ground where on the one hand, yay, and on the other hand... We, we can do and have done better. Similarly, the retreat cost here is free. And if it were a retreat cost of four, we'd be going, yeah, let's use some buff padding, give ourselves an extra 50 HP. But it's not. So we're not. And then it's week two psychic with 140 HP, which is huge, because we've got a whole bunch of Pokemon out there like Mewtwo, like the upcoming Giratina, that are psychic type and hit for a base 70 damage. So actually having 140 and a weakness to Psychic nowadays, that kind of sucks if I'm honest with you. Now you are a Psychic type, so it means you can accelerate energy with Malamar if you feel so inclined, which you probably actually will want to here. And yeah, and it means you're hitting weakness against stuff like Mewtwo and Mew Tag Team GX, which to be fair is looking like a phenomenal card, which is going to really help to shape the format post-rotation. So not all bad then, I think would be a nice way to put it. But what does it actually do? Well, the first attack here is not ideal. One colorless energy, 30 damage plus confusion. It's fine. I mean, look, we don't really want it to be a stage one. Being a stage one kind of sucks in terms of this. But 30 damage plus confusion is good. One of the things we need to bear in mind about post-rotation, especially immediately after rotation, is that we've lost Ace Roller and we've lost Guzma, or we will have. Which means our switching slash healing options are severely limited compared to what they are at the moment. So it's far less likely your opponent will just casually be able to get you out of confusion. And this is kind of good. I really like this. I think next format, as in after rotation, there is going to be a real opportunity for playing around with this. I think there is a really good chance for getting going with stuff like Confusion. I could be wrong, but I do think it's going to be way better. I mean, in so many videos over the past couple years, I've started talking about stuff like Confusion and gone, well, everyone's playing like three or four Guzma and most people are playing a couple Ace Roller. It's never going to stick. But now I look at it and go, well, hang on a second, it might. Now, compared to something like Zerkatry, I don't know how I feel. Because Zerkatry does 20 rather than 30, but Zerkatry's a basic. So, I think it's got that going for it. Plus, Zergatry is a lightning Pokemon, so you can use Thunder Mountain to use the attack for free, or indeed, you can use Electro Power to do a bit of extra damage. So, I like the first attack. It seems like something as a nice bonus that you'll use here and there, rather than something to rely on. But the second attack here, that might just be something to rely on. According to the lovely David Hockman, for two Psychic, one Colorless Energy... It does 180 damage, and you discard your hand. Yeah. 180 damage, and you discard your entire hand. Does anyone else think this could be an awful lot of fun? Because I kind of do. Now look, if we look at it just on the face of it, and don't start thinking about other combos and weird things like that, no. No. You're just discarding your entire hand. And what happens is you discard your entire hand. And then next turn, you sit there crossing your fingers going, come on, let's hope I draw something good. Because you're in top deck mode and that's very, very bad. Now, to be fair, there's plenty of ways around this. Post-rotation, we're not going to have Guru, 
but we are going to have Zeb Striker. Zeb Striker says that you can, once during your turn, discard your hand and draw four cards. But let's face it, you're going to be going into your turn with one card in your hand that you draw. If it's an energy, play it. If it's a supporter, play it. If it's a Pokemon, play it. You get where I'm going with this. I could keep going, but that might get a bit annoying. And then use Zeb Striker to just draw four cards. So I think this can really work with something like Zeb Striker. The next issue is the Malamar. You need Malamar. Because without Malamar, the attack cost here is just untenable. Free, essentially, psychic energy is too much, ladies and gentlemen. Too gosh darned much. So you basically need to use Malamar. Now, the other argument here is that if you're using Malamar, do you even need much of a hand? Because you can use Malamar to accelerate energy, and you've already got a Pokemon in the active hitting for 180, and then you're golden. And the great thing is, in a weird kind of way, that as soon as you've used this once, it just gets easier and easier. Because you use it once, and you might be discarding three or four cards in your hand, and that's kind of awkward. But then the next turn, you've got like one or probably zero cards in hand. And if you've got zero cards in hand, then you're just doing 180. Now look, it, I'm, not, I'm not saying that we're going to be super excited about having zero cards in hand. But I am saying that if you've got zero cards in hand, having to discard them was really not a big issue. And this does potentially get into awkward territory here. Because you've got to discard your hand. So you're probably going to need something like Zeb Striker. And you're going to need Malamar. And it's all getting a little bit awkward. But then again, you're doing 180 damage. Now, 180 damage will just flat out KO a bunch of GXs. Something like Dedene GX, something like Blacephalon, something like Rayquaza. All of these are going down. You're not quite getting up to zero or a GX. But then again, that's why Arceus designed Shrine of Punishment. So we're cool in that regard. We're getting some nice KOs. You're not getting Tag Team GX KOs. You're just not. Unless you're hitting for weakness. And to be fair, you've got Mewtwo and Mew. And you've got Alola Muck and Muck. Or Muck and Alola Muck as it's actually called. And you've got Marshadow and Machamp. So there are going to be a few of them you'll get here. But outside of that, you're not getting Tag Team GXs. But this is still doing an awful lot of damage. And look, if you're playing a Malamar deck, there's nothing to stop you playing something like Ultra Necrozma so you can one-hit KO these Tag Team GXs. Now, the other thing we need to bear in mind here is that there are some other Pokemon that are going to love this. So let's take, for argument's sake, Alolan Executor. Now, Alolan Executor... The, I'm talking about the one that originally came around in Forbidden Light, but has been reprinted as a dragon type in Team Up. 20 damage, plus 20 more for each type of basic energy in your discard pile, up to a maximum 120 damage. Well, you need to get all the energy in your discard pile. Now, to be fair, we have got Shuckle that can do this for free energy. But here, you can just get all the energy and then discard them with this. You can use something like Lady to search out four different types of basic energy and then just discard them all while doing 180 damage. And then you're off. This is cool. This makes a really nice combo. They work very nicely together. Now, the thing to bear in mind is that the Tropical Shake Alolan Executor, whether you're going Grass or Dragon, incidentally, does attack for just one Grass energy, whereas this is Psychic, Psychic, Colorless. So again, you need to use Malamar, but if you're using Malamar, I think you'll be okay. But the other Pokemon I really kind of like here is Granbull. You see, Granbull does 160 damage. For one energy on a non-GX, just so long as you've got zero cards in hand. And generally speaking, when we play Grand Ball, we design our entire deck around having item cards you can play easily and just making sure that we can empty our hand. But here you don't need to. Now you'll need either to play some fairy energy or some rainbow energy. But bearing in mind, if you are playing the Tropical Shake Alolan Executor... You could actually just play a couple of fairy energy to use this Granbull. 
And then you attack for 180, discard your entire hand. Now, you may well draw a prize or two, admittedly. And then you'll draw one for the beginning of your turn. But at that stage, it's going to be so much easier to have a zero card hand. And then Grand Ball can go and smash for 160. And I'm not saying you have to play a Lolan Executor with the other Lolan Executor and Grand Ball. Not at all. But what I am saying is that this combos really nicely with those Pokemon. And that this does 180 damage on a non-GX. And frankly, there is a lot to like about this. It's awkward. I'm not saying it ain't awkward. But I am saying it is absolutely worth it. I'm going to be giving this between 3 and 4 Wossies. And I know we've given that score to a bunch of Pokemon lately. And I'm cool with it. We don't give half Wossies, incidentally. That would be barbaric. This seems like a very good card that should see some play, but not a real staple card or top deck, hence between three and four. But I'd like to know what you think, ladies and gentlemen, so please do let me know in the comment section. Go nuts! Be nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcg radio if you want to support the channel get some bonus podcasts and all that head on over to patreon.com slash ptcg radio where you can do exactly that and please do make sure you're checking out youtube.com slash plays where we talk about games that don't have pokemon in but by far the most important thing as always look after yourselves till next time thank you very much for watching my name's ross and you've been watching ptcg radio